Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner. Welcome to this tutorial, your training 6 tutorial on Firebase with Ionic. In this tutorial, we'll continue from where we stopped last time. So I'll open my FireBlogger folder and um, I'll just uh, right, hold my shift key and right click. So it pulls up um, a context menu where I have this. I'll just click this. This is a shortcut to get into uh, this folder. I will just run Ionic Serve and um, i'll also write shift click and uh, click so in this tutorial we'll quickly look at how we built this file where we have home.ts and um, let's look at how we built it home.ts and home.html so remember in the past tutorial we looked at the services which is the back end so let's look at how we did the front end so here we're listing posts we're using this function in the home.ts to list posts and we explained it in the past tutorial in this tutorial let's see how we actually echo that tutorial so when I click here you will see that there is this this element ended here so this is a loop the whole of this is just one um, element let me check um, let's see our guy here is still trying to run ionic serve so when it has finished running we'll see okay so it's opening right now i'll click right click on it i'll click on inspect element while it's opening let's get back to our code so the whole of this is just one row in our page that we want to display posts but then it has to come again for us to see the next post it has to come again for us to see the next post so what it basically contains is the name of the person the picture of the person then it contains something else the post body the status update that was updated then at the bottom of the status update you have the number of likes the number of comments and the time it was updated and that's how it is structured but then we need this to be a loop so in ionic this is where you do the looping so remember we have this as an array when we come back to our list post pay function we have this guy here user post list that that has all the data then inside the user post list we have another one called um user okay okay inside the user then we have user name email user photo so we have user post list as an array so we'll come back here so this is how you loop an array in ionic so so you say ng4 remember this star sign this is a star asterisk sign so you say asterisk ng4 remember that this is a capital letter equals then you say let post of post user posts list all right so uh, this is a post list is the array we have inside our method here that has all the data so this automatically loops this element um, many times I know this is kind of counterintuitive if you're coming from some programming language where you actually have to do the looping right here okay so that's it so this just um, loops until it exhausts whatever um, contents that are inside this array all right so for each one we display the name then with the post body so let's see what is here um, of course there is an error somewhere let me just quickly find and uh, resolve this error looking at this error um, it says that a code error on home page the query dot on failed so this tells us that it's on the firebase side so when we get back to our code we get to back back to our code this is our home.ts but then we need to open the uh, post service that is where we did our firebase call so you go to your app find your providers then post service then posts so this opens so we are calling this list post service function from here so we have list posts and we're calling this list post service and it's telling us that query that is this guy dot on failed 
So um, that's a little mistake we made in the other tutorial. I will show you further down in this tutorial when to use on and when to use once. So we change it to once and uh, we are right back to our code and everything should work properly here. So we get back and uh, it's refreshing. Uh, I know you can't see it, uh, but if you look here, you see that it's refreshing. And when it refreshes, it should work perfectly well. All right, and um, there we have a great app here. And so this is it. This is the first block of code displaying the, the comments. This is another comment. This is another comment. Just as we wrote in the post in the in the code here on home.html. As you can see on home.html, this is a loop and uh, it displays the username when you come here you see that it displays this username then there is a time so when you come here you see that there is a time and then there's a post body when you come there you see that there's a post body and so on and so forth so that's how this is organized so whenever you don't want to do any loop in ionic you just use ng for star as asterisk ng capital letter four equal then let then you declare you choose any variable i just use post then of the variable you have in your in your code here all right and um, i hope i explained in the past tutorial why this is um, length is zero the way the reason i did this is that um, since i'm using once once goes to the database takes a snapshot of all the data inside there and brings it there it doesn't check for any other thing again so it, it's really not the perfect solution for uh, posts uh, because if somebody edits their post like now after making this post obviously it's a stupid post by writing try I could just click on edit and they did it to try again later something like that if I make this edit everybody that is looking at this page won't get this until they refresh so but if I want this edit to reflect in real time we don't need to use once we use something like on or we use um, on added so we don't need to use once here we use on then we use on child added child added so in subsequent tutorials we'll see how um or child removed or something like that but i usually use on value to monitor for everything like we use here so in subsequent tutorials we'll see how we can achieve that feat all right and um, that's it basically see you in the next tutorial